Hi everyone, it's Miss Lainan. Today I'm going to refresh a little lesson for you that some of us have done. And it's using this visual, it's called Ichi. And we can use these clues um, to describe objects. We can build our vocabulary and we can use it to do our writing if we'd like. Who remembers doing this with me? A lot of you know this song, it's so fun. Let me sing it for you. I have some colored circles here. There's the green group. There's blue do. There's what does it look like? Brown is what is it made of? There's pink parts, white wear, and what else do I know? So when we talk about the green group, we want to know what group does an object or a picture belong to? And when we talk about blue do, we think about what the object does, what we use it for, and when we have the picture of the eyeball, it says, um, what does it look like? What does the picture look like? What does the object look like? Brown is, what's it made of? Is it made of plastic? Is it made of rubber? Is it made of soft fur? So we can think about that when we're describing objects or using it in our writing. And we have pink parts. So what does the object, what are the parts? Are there legs? Is there a head? Is there a body? So we want to think about the parts of an object. If we were talking about a yo-yo, we might say that the parts, it has a string and it has the actual yo-yo. Those are the two parts. And white is white where? Where would we see it? Would we see it in our garage? Would we see it at a store? And the question mark says, what else do we know about that object or that picture? So the song that we sing that helps us remember these color groups is sung to the tune of Skip to My Lou. So we go like this. Green group, blue do, what does it look like? What is it made of? Pink parts, white wear, what else do I know? I know some of you remember singing that song with me. Let's try it together. Are you ready? One, two, here we go. Green group, blue do. What does it look like? What is it made of? Pink parts, white where? What else do I know? So you can practice that song by yourself and sing it with me using that visual. There you go. So let me show you. If I wanted to talk about all of these different things with our ichi and our visual. Um, I'm going to use a spoon for my object. Okay, so here's my spoon. So when we sing green group, what group does a spoon belong to? Is it a toy? Maybe you could use it as a toy. Is it clothes? No, that's not the group it's made out of. Is it and the utensil? Yes, we could use it as a utensil. A spoon is part of the utensil group. Blue do. Blue do. What does it do? What do we do with the spoon? We can stir things. We can mix it up. And if you're mixing something with a spoon, I hope you remember to sing Miss Lainan's favorite, mix, mix, mix it up, mix it all up. Mix, mix, mix it up, mix it all up, our mix it up song. We use a spoon, that's what it does. <gasps> the eyeball is asking, what does it look like? What does our spoon look like? Our spoon has a handle, that's what I'm holding, and then the top part of the spoon is up here, and that's what we use to do the mixing or the stirring. Brown is asking us, what's it made out of? I know it's hard for you to tell what it's made of because you're at home and I'm in my home, but this spoon is made of wood. The parts is asking us pink parts, the parts of a spoon. So the parts of a spoon, there's the handle and then there's this big stirring part. Those are the two parts of the spoon. White, where, where? Where would we see a spoon? We might see a spoon in the kitchen or if some of us have um, a toy kitchen, we might see it by our toys. Or we might see spoons at a store if you needed to buy a new spoon. So that's where we would find a spoon. And the question mark's asking us, 
What else do I know? What else do I know? What else do I know about a spoon? It can mix, it can stir. If you had two spoons, you could use them to tap together and make music. That's something else that I know about spoons. So that's our Ichi song. Let's sing it one more time. Are you ready? Ask your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa to help you. But some of you already know this. Green group, blue do. What does it look like? What is it made of? Pink parts, white, where? What else do I know? Now, some of you can talk about real objects or you could find a picture in a book or a picture around your house and you could use all of this, all of this visual to help you talk more and build your vocabulary at home. Some of you might want to use this to do your writing at home if you can't think of anything to write about. I made a little story about our spoon and I'll show you what that might look like if anyone would like to try that at home with mom or dad or grandma or grandpa. So this is my book. It's called The Spoon. I tried to do my very best drawing. The Spoon. I made the color dots on here. I hope you can see that. But here's our green group. What did I write? I wrote, a spoon is part of the utensil group. It's a utensil. We talked about it. Blue do. What does a spoon do? A spoon is used to mix or stir things. That's what it does. It mixes and stirs. Remember this one? What does it look like? A spoon looks like a long tool. And then remember Brown? Brown said, what is it made of? This spoon is made of wood. There, I just used my visuals to write about the spoon. <gasps> Pink parts. What are the parts of a spoon? A spoon has a handle. Remember we talked about the handle on the spoon? Here's my handle that I'm holding on to. Handle. White ware. Where would we find a spoon? A spoon can be found in a kitchen. When you're doing your writing, you can write some of your high frequency words and maybe mom or dad or grandma or grandpa or a babysitter can help you with some of the trickier words and help you stretch them out. And the question mark, what else do I know? I wrote, I know that I can use a spoon to make and prepare food, or I can use two spoons to tap together to make music. And that's our lesson today, everyone. I'm using the Ichi tool to help us build our vocabulary, talk more about objects, and we could use this to use um, in our writing. Let's sing it one more time before we go. One, two, here we go. Green group, blue do. What does it look like? What is it made of? Pink parts, white, where? What else do I know? Thanks everyone. Have a great day.